Hello, my name is Katusha, your sex coach. For the past few weeks, we have been discussing very important but heavy subjects. And today, I'm starting my orgasmic series where I promise it will be much more fun and light. We will dive in into exploration what female orgasm is, how to give her ecstatic orgasms, how to, why is it hard for her to come from penetration for some women, actually for majority of women, they say, and all the delightful fun stuff. Today, female orgasm explained pretty awesome let's dive in so i have google in front of me i've googled already what a female orgasm is first definition female org orgasm is a feeling of intense pleasure that happens during sexual activity yes or no yes but not limited this is fragmentary definition let's go to the next one Female orgasm is a series of rhythmic contraction occur in the uterus, vagina, and pelvic floor muscles. Correct? Sometimes. Sometimes there is no contractions. Limited. Another one. The orgasm is widely regarded as the peak of sexual excitement. It is a powerful feeling of physical pleasure and sensation with, which includes a discharge of accumulated erotic tension. Okay, the first sentence. The orgasm is widely regarded as the peak of sexual excitement. Correct? It can be or it might not be at all. Again, not precise definition. Another one, orgasm is a, the combination of expansion and pleasure and the mind state shift. I like this one, but it says the word pleasure. Orgasms sometimes can be very annoying and even frustrating. Okay, so these definitions are not wrong, but they are fragmentary. They do not include all the spectrum of what orgasms may be. Also, the most accurate definition that I found is in the book uh, by Emily Nagoski, Calm As You Are. Her definition of orgasm is, um, orgasm is a sudden and involuntary release of sexual tension. Now, I personally would argue about sudden and involuntary. Sometimes they're sudden and involuntary, and sometimes they're very conscious. I can control when I can release that tension or it's called edging, right? Or I can I can approach to like, let's say if the orgasm is 10, I can approach to 9.9 .9 and then bring it back. So it's not that sudden and voluntary. I know I'm in control. I know where I'm driving to. Or yes, sometimes I let go and it's involuntary. So even with those uh, adjectives, I can argue. But let's just say orgasm is a release of sexual tension so notice how much is missing from this definition muscle contractions pelvic floor contractions pleasure sexual behavior and why is it so hard to define it in the first place well because because of its variety and variability orgasms vary from woman to woman they can happen while you're making love they might not happen while you're making love. They can happen while you masturbate. They might not happen while you masturbate. They may happen in the gym while you're not thinking about sex. They can happen from vaginal stimulation, clitoral stimulation, breast stimulation. In, in, in the case of one woman, she, every time she brushed her teeth, she would have an orgasm. She was so annoyed by it, it disrupted her life that she completely switched to mouthwash and never brushed her teeth again. They can happen without any physical contact from mental stipulation. You can have energy orgasms. <laughs> orgasms can be ecstatic, mind-blowing, boring, frustrating, shallow, calming. Why? Well, two factors. Number one is the context. Context is the king. But we'll talk about this later. And the other one is physical engineering. We are all made from the same parts, in fact, women and men. But we are, our genitals are organized in a different way, right? So some women have more nerve endings at the ent entrance of their vagina, let's say. So those women are more likely to have vaginal uh, derive orgasm from the penetration. Most women, in fact, as reported, generate orgasms through clitoral stimulation. Some women have small clitoral gland and their vestibular bulbs extending down to the mouth of the vagina are filled with nerve endings and they're large. So those kind of women, they wouldn't care as much about clitoral stimulation. They would derive more pleasure from stimulation of the inner labia or outer labia, right? It's complex, right? <laughs> That's why it's great to be with one woman to pick one and to dive deep. And that's just the not me, right? To learn. And not is the easiest part. And the second part is context. Context is the king. 
Is she worrying about something? Is she worrying about her body image? Is she spectatoring? Is she thinking, oh my gosh, I'm fat. She, he's not going to love me. Is she, is she thinking if her, if her kids are fat? Is she thinking that she has a meeting with her boss tomorrow? Um, did you just have a fight? Is she worrying that you cheated on her? Uh, so many things can happen, right? Are the sheets dirty? Maybe the sheets smell a certain way. Right, or maybe she saw a hair somewhere on your ear and that turned her off. Most importantly for men, I don't want you to think that you are responsible for all of those things. Yes, you're responsible for some things, but for majority of it, woman is responsible for her own pleasure because you can't be in her brain and her body. She is the master of her body, her mind, emotions and body has have to be in sync in order to be able to surrender to that pleasure. It is harder for women to have orgasms generally for a number of reasons, because of social construction, because of the, the shame, guilt, beliefs. You know, women used to be burned, burned uh, in fire for their sexuality centuries ago, right? It's all in our DNA being passed from generation to generation. It's still there. It's this fear to let go. Absolutely, every woman is capable of having an orgasm. Why is it so difficult for some women? And if you are a man that happened to be with a woman like that, who is having troubles to surrender to pleasure, the best thing you can do, of course, to be patient and to develop emotional intimacy into me see, into her see, because, because of the limiting beliefs, because of sexual traumas. One in three girls have been sexually assaulted in their lifetime maybe childhood or the lessons of their adulthood life and another and another thing you have to let her off the hook doesn't matter whether you're gonna have orgasm or not whether i'm gonna have orgasm or not i love you anyway trust me it does miracles when you just release this urgency and this tension to have this goal to achieve this goal i remember one guy told me once many years ago i have no patience for women who can't orgasm. I still carry it with me. I have no patience for women who can't orgasm. There is no love in that at all. He didn't care about a woman. He just cared about himself to have an orgasm. He didn't want to dive in into her world. And if you take your time to do that, for those of you who, who are with women who are struggling with orgasms, the payoff will be amazing this is it for today in the next video we will be talking about how to give her the most ecstatic orgasm we're also going to talk about orgasmic non-concordance and many 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 other things please subscribe share it like it if you have any questions please ask me in the comments below i'll see you very soon